Hey everybody, it's Clark Barlow back here with Potential Pantry. This is our Morel video take two. So here in North Carolina, I seem to find green ash trees are the tree that Morel mushrooms are the most mycorrhizal with. And we can't say any reason for sure why green ash trees in particular. I find dead and dying elms as well as, well as cherry and apple trees also seem to be mycorrhizal with this. But in this low-lying wetland environment that we're here, we see a lot of chickweed, we see may apples, and we specifically see this green ash tree. Green ash, we can see it up here. It's one of the last trees in our area to put on leaf material. So you'll see at the top of it will still be very dark, but then just a little bit of green protruding from it. And that's the way I look for morels. I look up, I find green ash trees, I find the bark of it right here, and then right back here, We've got one sort of older morel that we'll take right here. Not the best one in terms of a specimen, but it's great to see the mycorrhizal relationship between this morel mushroom and this green ash tree. This is a very old, mature green ash. And we'll come right here, and my good buddy Christian, who's back here filming for me, is gonna come right here in my bag. You can see we're not playing around. Green ash equals morels. So here in North Carolina, Clark Barlow for Potential Pantry showing you green ash equals morels. Happy hunting.